But Elon Musk the other day, right? So a couple months ago, he put up a poll and asked if he should step down as CEO of Twitter. People said yes because, you know, he is obviously the worst human being on the planet. Mm. And Twitter is racist. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So um, he said he was going to look for a new CEO. So the other day last week, he announced that he found a CEO and within the next six weeks, she'll be taking on the role. Now, people found out who the CEO was. Uh, her name is Linda Yacarino. Mm-hmm. Right? Yes, Yacarino, right? And a lot of people, not a lot of right wing people, really outspoken right wing people, are upset at this choice because she has been seen at the world uh, economic forum. economic forum. She's been uh, 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 jab heavy. She's been, you know, a lot of the stuff that Elon apparently claimed to be against. She is actually for that. But caveat is she's really good with attracting advertisers to platforms. Okay. Okay. Twitter needs money. They need advertisers to come back because they left after Elon Musk became, after he bought it, because mm. they said racism is going to be here, disinformation and stuff like that. So she has come in, I think, to kind of fix that problem to get, because uh, these businesses, these things are all about relationships. Yes, they, they are. They are. They are all about relationships. And um, so, but she resigns, yes? No, I, so I heard that, I, I saw that in one story, but then I... Uh, I'm, I can't find it anywhere else. I found that one oh, place. Okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? I saw that in one place that she resigned. And I thought she would resign because of all of the negative feedback that this is getting. Uh huh. People are pulling up her videos of her praising the CEO of BlackRock. We know about BlackRock. We know about BlackRock. Uh, we see, uh, like I said, uh, videos at the World Economic uh, Forums Ugh. and stuff like that. We know what that's about. Yes. Um, her views during the whole mandate situation. We know what that's about. So I don't know what this is going to turn into. Um, but, you know. But is she good at her job? Probably. Okay. That's what it's really going to boil Probably. down to. So, um, if she's good at what she does, and you know how people are finicky. So they'll forget about that if, if, if Elon Musk really steps down mm-hmm. for, for whatever reason. And uh, and gives her an opportunity to, you know, I, I think she'll be fine. Yeah, and at this point, Twitter's kind of not too big to fail because we've seen like billion dollar organizations just kind of fail. But Twitter has become the, the 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 town square where like information is really just passed through. Yes. So a lot of the Republicans who are mad, where are you gonna go? Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. You going to Facebook? Like, where are you gonna go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. And so, uh, also, I'm hearing that um, she actually holds a position at the World Economic Forum. Oh, shit. She's not just a participant. She actually holds a position there. So when we talked about at the beginning of the show, we talked about follow the money. Your principles as Elon Musk, like you were this non-censorship guy and you didn't want right. this stuff like anti that. anti this and anti this. Anti-this, but you follow the money. You need money. You need advertisers to come back to the platform. Yeah.